so I finished filming my video and then I looked out the window and it is snowing in the most delightful way possible. So I decided to come outside and show you my front yard pine tree and why I love pine trees so much. So this is my cute little pine tree in my front yard with the absolutely gorgeous snow falling. How cool is that? I, mean, I am back. Happy Thursday. So I got a kind of two for three for a video for you guys today. So I wasn't expecting my candle sale haul to come today, but I did get four candles in the mail today. And then I had actually been working on doing Ode to the Pine Tree Part 2. Remember, I did my whole pine tree video probably like the beginning of November, but I've really been enjoying pine tree candles lately. So I wanted to review for you balsam and firwood, and then I'm going to go over the rest of my pine tree Bath and Body Works candle collection, because last time I reviewed um, Tis the Season, I did the Frosted Forest, Fresh Balsam, Vanilla Balsam, Tree Farm, Evergreen, all my favorite pine tree candles. And I'm really like we only have like seven days till Christmas and I really want to enjoy pine while we're still in like the Christmas mood. So I decided to like get out my pine tree candles today. So I'm going to go over the ones in the box first. Um, I took the bubble wrap off of this one so it doesn't crinkle. Um, smoked vanilla. Check this one out. This is in that um, kind of seventies wallpaper. I love these candles. Oh, that one is so, oh my gosh, you guys, this one's amazing. Um, this one is Creamy Vanilla Smoked Sandalwood and Rich Bourbon. Holy cow, this one smells good. Okay, that's a winner. Um, what else do I have next? We're back to the boxes again. I wish they used the crates. Um, I'm kind of sick of these boxes. <laughs> sugared, oh, sugared uh, Lemon Zest. This one's always a good one, you guys. Holy moly, this one is so strong. I always forget how strong this one is. This is the uh, Sorrento Lemon Cane Sugar and uh, Lemon Zest. This will wake you up. Check out the green wax, too. That's gorgeous. Ooh. Um, what else? Did I? I can't remember what I got. Oh, I think this is French Baguette. Um, yes, it is French Baguette. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I don't know if I love this candle, but I'm reviewing it for you guys. This is the... Oh, it says, originally launched in 2012, enjoy a BBW favorite blend of slow-rising dough, crispy crust, and fr crust, cr crispy crust, <laughs> can't say that, and a fresh out of the oven aroma. I gotta try it. Oh, you know what? This one, my, my wax is loose in this one, happens when it gets cold. This one smells better. Then my other one, I wonder if I got moldy bread last time. Seriously, like, I have a, that's really weird. Let me grab this, you guys. I'm going to scooch. I don't know if I can scooch without, um, oops. Oh, don't want to break anything. I have a single wick French baguette here. I don't know, this one, this, this one smells a little different. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this. Oh, that smells kind of good. Did they change something? I don't know. You guys, this one, I got to try this one out. That's kind of interesting. Because usually I don't like French baguette. Hmm. And then finally, I got, what did I get? Oh, I got party dress. Look how pretty this one is. Oh, my gosh. I know I'm not going to like the scent on this one. But I wanted this to go in my collection. Um, it has that velvet label. This one is sparkling bergamot, velvet lilies, and tonka bean. I don't think I like party dress. Maybe I do. Kind of a strong... It's not bad. Um, I smell the bergamot and the lilies. It's actually not bad. I didn't think I was going to like this one at all, but I really like the... Um, the packaging, but it's not bad. I'm going to have to review that one. So anyway, that was the haul that I got today. Let me, let me put these down safely on the floor. So, Ode to the Pine Tree Part 2. So, you know me, I love my pine tree candles. Um, I've been burning balsam and firewood. I haven't reviewed this one yet. This one is nice, you guys. This has got that really pretty um, light green wax. Uh, let me pull up the scent notes so I'm not hoisting this thing over my head. They probably don't even have it anymore on the, 
the site, so I might have to hoist it anyway. Firewood. This, yes, it's balsam and firewood. Um, no, it's no longer on the site. We do have three new single wicks on the site today. Okay, I'm going to do this one. I promise I won't dump it on my head. I really won't. Um, this one is cedarwood, cardamom, and white birch. It smells really good. It's got a very, it's basically just like firewood and fir tree. Um, I love the green in this one. This one's burning beautifully. Um, I'm really enjoying this one today. This is kind of like my office candle. I always have an office candle for the day while I'm working. Um, it kind of reminds me of Fireside with that smoky smell, but add a little balsam into it. So if you like Fireside and balsam, I think you're really going to love that one. That one is awesome. So um, I'll probably burn this a couple more times over the, uh, the Christmas season. So the other ones in the Ode to the Pine Tree collection, my homage to the fir tree, I love fir trees, um, are kind of a few I don't like. Uh, Sparkling Woods, I'm actually returning. I decided I don't love this. I, I was going to keep it for the bear, but I don't know. This one is just, I can't stand the smell, you guys. This one is too strong. This one is Lavender Fir Needle um, with Bergamot and Ice Lemon. I think I've decided I don't like Bergamot. Anytime I see Bergamot... Although it was okay in the uh, bow ties and bourbon. I think it had bergamot in it. But this one is too strong for me. Um, so I might just exchange that one. Because um, we got so many candles coming up. I'm like, that way I can get a few new ones. Sparkling Icicles was a no for me. Um, this one, I just, it was too strong. This is Glittery Ice Fresh Bergamot again. Sprigs Bright Holiday Greenery. I don't know what Bright Hol Holiday Greenery is. I'm thinking that's fir tree. This one smells kind of piney. I am not super crazy about those. Um, we did get some new pine tree ones recently, though. Snow Mountain Lodge is amazing, you guys. Um, this one is the Smoked Embers Silver Pine and Sandalwood. I'm not sure what silver pine is, but it's beautiful. It does smell exactly like lodge. It's beautiful. I highly recommend this one if you're looking for a late in the game um, holiday candle to burn on and around Christmas. The second one that I love is under the Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, they just brought this out with that gold collection a couple of weeks ago. This one is fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves. This one is beautiful. Absolutely um, one of my favorites in the entire balsam collection pine tree this one's gorgeous and it's got like this really pretty um kind of like greenish like light green wax i like that and then of course we have apple garland i know so many people are stocking up on these sold out online i believe um this was a super popular candle with bath and body works this year um you know it's funny because they, they don't have many candles left they only have 168. They had over 200 the other day. So I know a lot of candles are being sold out. Yep, a lot of the Christmas ones are... Oh, they do have apple garland, though. Holy moly! I am really shocked. I wasn't sure that they had that one. It's funny because in the gold collection, what's missing? They have sweet cranberry pie, chocolate crams, Mary Madeline cookie, Alpine skies, snowy driftwood. You know what? Under the Christmas tree is sold out. You might be able to get it in stores. And the white velvet coconut, which I wasn't crazy about, is actually sold out. That's really interesting, you guys. Okay. So you can get apple garland still. This one is nice. Um, this one is the uh, eucalyptus cedarwood um, gala apples and mistletoe. This one is kind of right on the fringe of being a pine tree candle. I kind of put mistletoe in that pine tree uh kind of family, even though it's holiday greenery. <laughs> but anyway, this one is really good. It's got like a touch of apple in it. And then we have winter. Oh my gosh, you guys, winter is dazzling. Oh my gosh, the packaging, everything, white woods, pine needle, sparkling clementine, spice clove. I highly recommend you pick up a winter before the season is over. This candle will take you right into January. It's gorgeous. And then, um, <laughs> I knew I had another one, Mahogany Balsam. I don't even think I can burn this one. This is really strong, you guys. If you want, like, balsam times a thousand fresh balsam, get a Mahogany Balsam. 
no scent notes on this one. This was just really strong. This is like a really strong candle. I don't know. A lot of people like mahogany balsam. I'm not too into it. Um, the two that I highly recommend, three actually in this group, are the balsam and firewood, the under the Christmas tree, and winter. So that is my ode to the pine tree part two. I'm sad pine trees are kind of going on the out. We're going to be getting into spring, but I'm going to enjoy my pine tree scents this week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back. I'm going to review that um, French baguette. I'm going to review smoky vanilla. I cannot wait to review these new candles. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.